So you want to grow chives. This is chives, garlic chives, because you see the leaves are flat. You may see a variety that looks like this that has round stem, hollow round stem, which is onion chives. You should try that at home. It's a perennial. It's great. Cut and grow, cut and grow. Uh, you see, so let's say you cut it here as low as possible to the, to the soil surface and then it will grow again. So this, this, we just harvested this from the uh, Dutch bucket hydroponic system. And you'll see, uh, so you'll see here, here's the cell. I hope you can see it. Here's a little bit of left of the of the rock wool. See, here's the residue of the rock wool cube that we started with. So all of these are side shoots that all of these are on the outside. So you see it, uh, it gets bigger and wider and wider as it makes more side shoots. So this originally was uh, two or three shoots here in the center and all of these are new baby shoots. So this is one way to divide it is you can take three or four, you can really separate them to individual individual ones, but then they'll take forever two years before they get to something like this big. So if I were to divide it, I will be no more than like this size, no smaller than this size, okay? Uh, you have like 10 shoots, um, why not? That's small enough. And you can see here, this has been cut multiple times, cut and grow, cut and grow. So something like this, divide into two, uh, two or three pieces, and you just break them really. I, I, I don't have two hands to work and show you, but you can just break them, uh, or with a knife, sharp knife, separate them and then cut through the roots, cut through the roots here, and that will be fine. I grew these in, uh, like I said, in the Dutch bucket system in pure perlite, which, which is that white material you see when you open a um, white pellets that you see when you open a bag of potting mix. So that's perlite and this is pure perlite. It's great for hydroponic because it's light, it's not heavy uh, to lift and it re retains water and, uh, air, and, uh, and air. And that's, uh, that's about it. Fertilize regularly um, with a balanced fertilizer, a uh, little bit uh, rich on the nitrogen since you are, uh, you are growing a leafy crop. I mean, you, you need a little bit of uh, phosphorus, which is gr good for the roots, potassium just for the overall health of the plant, but a little bit extra nitrogen is great because since you are growing a leafy crop.